Star Wars movies have been a mess lately. No, I'm not ribbing on the sequel trilogy, I mean from a production standpoint. We were originally excited about Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie, which looked really, really exciting. However, that has been removed from the schedule and is on indefinite hold. Therefore, what do we have got to look forward to right now? Well, a new report might mean we're getting a movie quicker than we might think. According to Star Wars Insider, MakingStarWars.net, a new movie is scheduled to begin pre-production in Spring 2023 at Pinewood Studios London. The next Star Wars film will not hit theatres until December 2025. However, according to this report, pre-production on an untitled Star Wars movie is due to start soon if this report is accurate. According to Making Star Wars, it's unclear what movie is going to be in pre-production, yet they think one rather than the other. We've got Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie, but also, recently, a movie project by Damon Lindelof has come to light. This project has more strength to it, with a director already attached as well as a co-writer. The project has had significant momentum as of late. Industry insiders such as journalist Jeff Snyder now think Lindelof's film will take the 2025 slate rather than Taika's film. But why is this? We've got to look at the facts, so let's recap each project. Use the force and hit that subscribe and like button to never miss a video for myself and the team here at Star Wars Now. As always, if you're talking about Star Wars, we want to hear about it, so get commenting. Many are excited about what Taika Waititi will bring to the Star Wars galaxy. The director has already dabbled in the Star Wars universe beforehand. Not only has he acted as the voice of IG-11 in The Mandalorian, he also directed Chapter 8 of Season 1, Tard Redemption, which is where Moff Gideon arrived, well, mainly got up to his bad stuff. However, his film idea is equally as exciting, especially when you look at how well some of his Marvel movies have been crafted, such as Thor Ragnarok. January 2020, which is almost three years ago now, saw The Hollywood Reporter reveal that Taika was approached to work on a Star Wars movie. Many spent a few months speculating what this project could entail. However, May 4th of the same year would confirm this project's existence. A post on Star Wars Day also confirmed that Christy Wilson Carnes would be the co-writer on the film. However, like all recent Star Wars films, the project went quiet for a few months. Fast forward to December 2020 and the Disney Investor broadcast updated what was going on with the project. Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy confirmed that Taika and Christy were already working on the film's script. Additionally, artwork for both the title and concept art was shown off. The title was in YT's style, while the artwork showed mysterious diamond objects floating in space. Many still think this could be hinting towards the Old Republic. Lucasfilm has left that time period of the Star Wars Galaxy alone for some time now. Therefore, many still think Taika's film will go into the Old Republic. Though, equally, it could be the High Republic, especially with the Acolyte series also taking place there. The latest update came early this year, around May 2022. Ken revealed via Vanity Fair that Tiger Sun was next on the slate, scheduled for 2023. As of late 2022, however, Tiger revealed that he's still writing his Star Wars movie and was going to do that by the end of the year while he films other projects. So when you think about it, this report that pre-production is starting in spring 2023 could be a good sign for Tiger's movie project. The Hollywood Report themselves indicated that an early 2023 start was for Tiger's Star Wars film. However, there were no additional details about it at the time, therefore it's hard to know if he was specifically talking about this one or getting confused with something else. Making Star Wars' report seems confident about Tiger's film being the one in production. However, another Star Wars reporter, named Bespin Burton, suggests that Damon Lindelof's film will take the slot previously reserved for Tiger's film release. That slot is in 2025, by the way. This is mainly under the pretense that Lindelof's film had more momentum recently, rather than other Star Wars projects that we know about. But what is his project? Earlier this year, the Angle reported that Damon Lindelof would be working on a Star Wars movie. However, since that initial report in March, there's been nothing until recently. We now know who the director might be, when the film could be set, and who might be writing it. But where is this film set? Will it connect with what we already know? And what's the deal? An exclusive report from The Hollywood Reporter says that the story will take place after the events of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Although it's said to happen after a film, it's not, and I repeat, not a continuation of the Skywalker saga. Despite that, The Hollywood Reporter says the film could feature existing characters from the sequel trilogy, like Poe Dameron, played by the wonderful Oscar Isaac. If we are to see a familiar face, Poe Dameron does seem more likely. Oscar Isaac said he would do Star Wars again if it was an interesting opportunity. 
Whereas John Boyega is probably keen to stay away from the franchise and Daisy Ridley also lacks interest for a good reason. Damon Lindelof's Star's film could also bring back minor characters from this era and expand them even more, which is something Star's can excel at. If Poe Dameron returns to the big screen, perhaps we'll see him rebuilding a republic. Whilst I don't see him as a politician, I'm sure he'd be keen to lead the military. As a Rey and Finn, I'd love to see Rey train Finn in the Jedi ways. It's the biggest missing piece from the sequel to me, and Rey could even rebuild the Jedi Order. Something that's been hinted to in reference books, just not shown on screen. Deadline was the one to break the news about Damon Lindelof's Star Wars film on October 23rd of this year. In the article, they said that Shamin Obed Chinoy would direct the project. It was also said that she was brought in whilst the script is being written, so that a vision gets included during the process. Smart move there, Disney. Well done. Lucasfilm wants to improve its film production, so it does seem like a great idea at the end of the day. Following this deadline report in October, the Hollywood Reporter released an exclusive of their own regarding the writers. THR said the writers was held shortly after Star Wars Celebration Anaheim in 2022. In the writers' room, you have the likes of Patrick Somerville, Rainer McClendon, Andy Greenwald, and a few others. Despite those names, young writer Justin Britt Gibson, who's known for The Strain and The Counterpart, landed a job and is co-writing a film with Damon Lindelof, which is pretty cool. Ultimately, the Star Wars movie face still seems chaotic in my opinion. While Disney Plus and Lucasfilm are crushing it with series such as Andor and The Mandalorian, the wall has been dropped when it comes to Star Wars movies. But why is that? It seems like Lucasfilm has a hard time keeping potential movie makers interested in projects or locked down long enough to do anything. I mean, currently we have an abundance of Star Wars films in various states of development. Tiger Film is potentially up in the air if Damon's movie takes a 2025 slot. But we don't also know what's happening with Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie. She is focusing on Wonder Woman 3. That film is essentially grounded now. Marvel's Kevin Feige is also working on a Star Wars movie with Michael Waldron. Let's also not forget that Ryan Johnson also has a hit trilogy of Star Wars movies to craft potentially. I meant this, not hit, but you get what I mean. It could be a hit. I reckon if he's got his own vision, it could be. While all of us are currently entertained by the offerings of Disney+, Plus, you can't deny that you miss the feeling of a Star Wars movie during the holiday season. Now, it also have been a perfect time to launch a movie in 2022, especially as Animal Season 1 has closed out before the holidays. Much like the future of Star Wars series, we'll likely hear more in it as we enter 2023, especially if this production news is correct. Okay, so all ones, that's for myself on Star Wars now. What do you think of the movie news? Are you looking forward to any of them? Or would you rather Disney just do Star Wars series? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest Star Wars news, lore and more. You can also follow us on social media as well, but make sure to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Because if you're talking Star Wars, we want to hear about it. I love that's a bit for myself, Captain Jack, here on Star Wars now. We'll see you very soon. In the meantime, may the Force be with you. Goodbye.